What's up guys, my name is Westy and today I'm bringing you some more Battlefield 3 endgame news and today we're going to be focusing on air superiority. News released earlier today on EA France's YouTube channel suggests that it's going to be 12 versus 12 in the new air superiority mode, which is going to make the battlefield absolutely chock-a-block full of jets. Uh, so all these people who love our air combat and who love flying around, you're going to enjoy this mode. We're bringing 24 jets, one for each player, 12 aside, into the fray. The way that you win this mode is by holding on to the capture points within uh, the skies. These are depicted by three airships. So the more planes that you have in this area, the faster you're going to take down the other team. And then of course shoot them out of the skies because you know that works as well. Now from the premium air superiority trailer that we've actually seen already, we didn't get sort of get a lot sort of telling us what how many people were actually going to be able to play in the game mode. We weren't sure if it was going to be like tank superiority where it's going to be like a massive amount or if it was going to be strictly limited. But now we've actually found out that it is actually going to be 12 versus 12 and I think this has got some advantages and some disadvantages. The advantage is, is that you're not going to have so many jets in the sky that you're going to get, not going to get killed all the time. Plus, it means that you are actually going to be able to get in a jet because I think it's limited to 12 only and that's on PC as well which means you aren't going to get these extreme 64 man servers for air superiority. But obviously the disadvantage is there's going to be so much beeping in your cockpit that it's going to be driving you crazy, there's going to be lock-ons all over the place. But I think that's going to be watered down by the fact that there are three capture points on each map rather than just the one. And perhaps that's another thing we should be talking about, that air superiority is going to be supported on all four new maps for Endgame. That's Kiasar Railroad, Operation Riverside, Nabandan Flats and Sabalan Pipeline. The blog post sort of focused on Capture the Flag game mode, but it did release a couple of screenshots of the new maps which are up on the screen in front of you now. And I have to say that the new snow map does look extremely good. It reminds me a bit of Operation Firestorm with snow all over it. Um, but that's kind of cool, and I also think it reminds me of White Pass from Bad Company 2, because that had quite a lot of tall buildings on it, and this looks kind of cool with the oil refinery setting kind of thing. And I think White Pass actually did have some sort of oil line on it, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it did. But anyway, it reminds me of that. And just one more thing I picked out from the footage was a mention of the AA vehicles. Now here's the footage of that part. The two new anti-air jeeps are based on the Vomnik and Humvee, uh, with the uh, anti-air weapons attached to them. So there it is, clear as day, that is confirmation of a second AA vehicle based on the Vodnik, which is obviously the Russian faction side. So it looks like these vehicles are set up exactly the same as Aftermath, where they're going to have the same sort of power, the same sort of weapons on them, but obviously one for each faction, the US and the Russian. So with Endgame only just round the corner, we are kicking in towards March now, there is still no exact release date for this DLC yet. Um, and I don't know if DICE are keeping it quiet or not, but it's getting closer and closer, so I've got a feeling that they're going to release it sometime soon, so stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a like so other people can see this information. And if you want to see some more Battlefield 3 related content, don't forget to jump over to my channel as well. And also my Twitter and Facebook links are in the description too. So once again, my name is Westy, and I will see you in the next video.